Hi Cancer, welcome to your love reading. How are you? In this reading I'll try to get as many details as possible using tarot. But keep in mind this is a general reading, so this might or might not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Now let's start. First let's shuffle three times the deck. I want to start with uh, different scenarios. Uh, let's try some changes in the general spread. Let's take the first scenario. Let's take you are single and you are looking for a new connection. So single and looking for a new connection. Let's see what is the energy around you. If you are single and looking for a new connection, I think that you have opportunities to meet new people. Just be open more to new opportunities, accept invitations, uh, get out more of the from the house, don't stay at home, be proactive, uh, start possibly using social media like uh, dating apps, start by that if you have, uh, if you are a bit introverted or something like that, but you should take action, get out there because the opportunities are there. You might have fun at least. You might get to know new people that might introduce you to somebody important. That's what I'm getting if you are single. What is the obstacle that you should be aware of if you're single? Uh, you are healing from something that happened in the past. You are almost healed, but somehow you have this feeling that you cannot connect that deeply or others cannot connect that easily with you emotionally. Let's see what is some possible outcome. It is quite possible that if you are logical, especially be logical, I know you are very emotional and vulnerable, that is very good, but try to be more logical because that might lead you to a very harmonious connection and a balanced one. So the possible outcome seems very good to me. It seems a mutual connection, fair and balanced, but use logic. Or it might mean that don't try to be very emotional. Uh, try to look at this as an experiment. It doesn't matter if you will connect with somebody or not. You will learn something, you will get experience and maybe you will get to know somebody very important that introduces you to somebody else or maybe you will get a work connection. You never know. So that's what I mean when I say be logical. Don't get too emotional with high expectations in the beginning. Now let's see the second scenario. Let's see if, uh, if you are in a connection already and you are not sure. Let's see what is the energy there, the overall energy. Six of Pentacles. It might seem from the outside that this is a mutual connection, but somebody is giving more. And probably it is giving you the impression that one of the partners is focusing elsewhere as well, or is not 100% uh, focused into the connection. So you might be thinking the person you are dealing with is mostly focusing on not only focusing on you, maybe they are looking over that fence and thinking the grass is greener over there. Let's see what is the blockage. It was a test, a very important test that happened to the connection. And I do see it, uh, it, it caused some damage, damages to the connection. In fact, it was not the fault of the test. The fault was inside this, uh, the foundation of this connection. It just revealed how vulnerable it was as a connection and not that serious and solid. It revealed, if you wanted both to see, where the problems were in the connection. And where were the problems? Let's see about that. At communication especially, communication that might have been problematic, not straightforward, not honest. Let's see what is the possible outcome of this situation right now at this moment. Uh, possibly, if you are a patient, you might reconcile with each other. That's what I'm getting. Now, let's see about your work. 
you see some message for your work it is telling that yes you should put your passion and love into your work it sounds like a cliche but you should be more disciplined more organized you have that great potential to produce some outstanding work and get recognized and maybe even get promoted but don't be lazy at work somehow the system that you have in place or the discipline might be might get better should be better to get better results that's something i'm having for you if you are interested about the work energies at this moment and let's see what is the message that all of you need to hear right now some message some important one for you at this moment queen of swords ace of wands ace of pentacles reversed the empress now what you see might not appear very beautiful or very colorful and not very optimistic in front of you and you might have been upset and just keep in mind especially at work there's some slow progress there the progress is coming but it is not coming that fast as you might have imagined you have a new passion at the beginning while you are feeling a bit sad and uh, not quite confident into your love situation or love story even if you are single i see a new passion at the beginning even if you are in a current situation i see some progress happening there that intimacy being much more stronger with that ace of wands upright not only that but i do like that at the bottom of the deck i do have the empress card so there's lots of love in this foundation you just have to tap into it and use it to make a current situation bigger and better and if you're single you should just have more self-confidence that you have that love and love starts by loving yourself yourself first because that will radiate more positive energies and people will be drawn to you like not known exactly they will be watching you they will be smiling at you and you you think <clears throat> you might think that okay why are they looking at me do i have something wrong in my uh what i have weared or something else no it's not that it they are being drawn to your positive energy and that starts when you are more confident in yourself when you love yourself first that's how i can interpret this uh the empress card at the bottom of the deck now what major arcana cards do i have here i have uh, libra aquarius scorpio sagittarius taurus and libra libra is emphasized here okay those are mainly the major arcana or the zodiac signs that i do have here but uh, it can be any sign now if you do have somebody on your mind and uh, you want to know details about them about their feelings about how do they view you and other details as well i will continue this reading with an extended that is in the description box below where i want to talk about the person that is on your mind about their current energies right now thank you for watching i hope this reading was helpful please let me know in the comments section below this video as well if this was helpful to you bye for now